can make me start thinking about food. I didn't eat much in between that break. I did have some coffee though. What is that? Oh, where you got the, the pun. Gotcha. That's all right. The fact that you linked that means, um, you did good. Alright, where is this nun? Credit where credit's due. Exactly. Whoop! Uh, mm, donkey. Donkey! Donate 10 to the nun? Sure. Some money for the poor, perhaps cast a little sunlight into their lives. Well, maybe, but ain't it the Lord's responsibility to look over his flock, not mine? Yes, but the Lord has brought you to me so you could help me. They're at their wits' end, and their faith has been cast aside. All it would take is a few dollars to get them started on the right path so they could see they're those who care few dollars to completely restore someone's faith I never knew life is so simple there you are sister yes life is much simpler than we make it gracias señor and God bless you fantastic Also, was he chosen for that pun? You might say you're on a drum roll. Maybe. Just maybe. Also, is it? I'm not going to harvest any plants. We don't need to yet. <laughs> Chubby cakes. <laughs> also, I think we just ran over a skunk. Poor skunk. <laughs> I forget if I can fast travel or not. Fast travel to a house? Hmm. Also, I'm just gonna cut across. This is a downside to following the roads, because, like, for instance, we could just cut across right here. Although there is a mountain. I can fast travel via the stagecoaches. I don't think I can do it any other way. Either way, this is fine, but... I got, I got progress to be made. I think I have to follow the road because of the mountain. Breaks my heart.
Okay. Gun Slinger's Tragedy. No, sir. Pardon, pero yo habla un solo poquito español. <laughs> habla English? <laughs> oh, sí, gringo. Hablo mucho inglés. Sí. Hablo filthy fucking bean eater. Hablo slippery little Mexican. Oh. Hablo little piece of shit. Shit. <laughs> Comprende, amigo? Comprende? <laughs> hey. What are you doing here, gringo? I don't remember inviting you to my country. I don't think you did, amigo. I mean you no harm. <laughs> you mean us no harm? This is funny. <laughs> what harm could you do to us exactly? <laughs> <laughs> Nothing, amigo. Now, I appreciate the welcome committee, but I'd hate to... Spoil a beautiful afternoon on such beautiful land, any further unpleasantries. Now, if you'll excuse me. Uh, holy gringo, I think you're forgetting something. A little taxation. <laughs> <laughs> I have a large family. <laughs> I too have a family friend. So that we may see our families again, I suggest we part ways amicably. <laughs> 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 can I see the boots, gringo? I think you can see them from where you're standing just fine, senor. Take off the boots, americano. As you wish. Good. Very good indeed, sir. What a great way to improve border relations. An illiterate farmer crossing the river, coming into their civilization and butchering the local peasants. <laughs> Thank you very much, sir. Don't mention it, old man. You kill peasants, you become a peasant. I never aspired to be anything more. <laughs> A socialist, huh? No wonder you left America. Not many things. Most of them bad. But a man of political principles? No. Well, then I fear Mexico may not be for you, sir. Don't you worry about me. Oh, but I do worry. An angry man a long way from home? A man who handles a gun as sloppy as you? I can handle a gun okay, partner. Yeah, as long as you're killing quail or peasants. If you have to face another man, you don't stand a chance. And you do? I can show you a few tricks. Come with me. Hold on. What's your name? Uh, that doesn't matter anymore. And you? I never had a name, mister. I was raised in an orphanage. <laughs> a real American, huh? Wonderful. Just wonderful. God, man. If if I could ever talk to the writer of this game, or any of all well, the writers. You're making the circus, but you can shoot. Keep on practicing. Thank you, old man. Now, who are you? No one interesting. Who are you? Landon Ricketts. Not a name that means much anymore. It means a little. You were famous when I was a boy. Yeah, killing men's a strange kind of fame. I was the fastest in my time. I must have been. I'm the only one left. What are you doing here? Living quietly. Waiting. For what? I don't know. And you? I'm looking for a couple of men. 
Bill Williamson, Javier Escuela. Escuela's from here. It could be. This whole place is teeming with a, with Americans on the run. Mercenaries, locals hell-bent on revolution. Revolution? Another one? Yeah. Never really is. This whole place has been a hotbed for revolution since before the Spanish left. Now there's another local guy running around promising the peasants their freedom. Ah, just like the last two or three. Local government? Foul bunch. Colonel Allende, he runs this place like a feudal king. He's an awful individual. Is that so? Yeah. Until someone puts a bullet in his head. Come on, let's get back to it. You gotta keep that back straight. Otherwise, it makes the gun jump. See if this Schofield makes a difference. Now that's a real gun. Dios mío! ¿Quién es el borracho aquí? ¿Tú o yo? Let's try one more time. Remember what I said. In Dead Eye, press R1 to place a tag on an object. Well done. Now that wasn't so hard, was it? Nope. Come on. I've got another idea. So this will upgrade our Dead Eye probably to level the three. Here are always raising hell, scavenging and scaring the life out of the locals. I say we put your newfound skills to the test while doing a public service for the good people of Chuparosa. Here we'll do. I'm gonna scare up some birds. Let's see if you can take down more than one at a time. Got him. Nicely done, sir. You've been taught well. I'd have to say I'm surprised you heard of Landon Ricketts. I would have thought an old goat like me would have been long forgotten by now. I heard many a story when I was a boy. Still do sometimes. These days, I like that hard. What do people say? Oh, you know how them conversations go. Fellers arguing over who's the toughest. Who's the fastest and who shot people in the back? I place good money on me still being the fastest. Is that so, old man? I spent my life. Senor You're senor. shooting Twinkie! Por favor, senor. Our back wagon's under What the hell? We need your help again. Whoa, slow down, Ramon. We'll take care of it. Thank you, senor. Again, you are the savior of this town. Well, my friend, are you ready to take a less theoretical exam? Sure. I don't think I ever rode with no savior before. <laughs> Let's haul out. Time we put you to work on some bigger prey. Welcome, Bandit! <laughs> if he killed Twinkie just then, yeah. I would have cried. So, why are you looking for these two men? It's a long story. We used to ride together. We was all friends once. Only a buzzard feeds on his friends. There must be a high bounty on their heads. What would you do if somebody took the people you love and told you they'd die if you didn't do as they asked? I'd show them what a big mistake they'd made. Look over there. They're in trouble, all right? Come on. Shit! We almost got you. Got him. All right, let's move out. Everybody, stay alert. Everybody, who else is there? Twinkie, guys, you leave me. Go, 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 Twinkie, 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 Twinkie. I get no chance to loot, man. I'm low on money.
And also was he chosen? I didn't kill Twinkie! The cougar killed Twinkie! To recall. I never killed Twinkie. Ever. Both both times was it was an accident. They did not die by my hand. You can't put that on me. Sano y salvo. Nunca podré agradecer lo suficiente. Buy me a whiskey later, and we'll call things about even. Did I level three out of three? Fantastic. Alright, where's the house in here? Who's he? You missed it? He's just an old man, an old an old outlaw. You did miss the WTF moment though. Um the game kind of freaked out and it was kinda of hilarious. Is this rent? No, it's a vacant. Let's go to that house. I'm surprised why they chose and didn't clip it. I'm surprised. <laughs> you were in shock. I was in shock. <laughs> I don't think so. Oh, I don't have the money for this. All right, I need to go to the. Sh Let's go to the stranger. Excuse me, sir. Excuse me. You are an American, are you not? Last time I checked. Oh, thank God, sir. Thank God. I have had it up to here with Dagos. Up to here. The savages. Mm, well, I do what I can to help. But this land was imagined by an angry God for an angry people. <laughs> well, America ain't exactly a peaceful paradise, mister. Well, um, I tried, but... But at least you lot try to speak bloody English. Uh, this bloody lot... My God. God, if I'd wanted to speak Spanish, I'd have gone to Spain. Why didn't you? Oh, good question. Well, you know, business, I suppose. Devil making work for idle hands, what? <laughs> now, uh, now, listen, friend. If you were to go west to Nosalida, I'd give you a reward for picking up a package of mine from the docks. Hmm? Well, there's, there's some fighting broken out there. Uh, it seems like it's more your kind of thing. Why would I want to do something like that? <laughs> oh, you Americans are all the same, obsessed with bloody money. Well, I will pay you, sir. I will give you a buck. Name's Tollitz, sir. Uriah Tollitz. Oh, they'll know of me in Nosalida. How much? Plenty, sir, plenty. Uh, now you will take it, give it, to the foreman of the estate at El Matadoro. He'll be expecting it. <laughs> Try to give those dagos hell, what? <laughs> That's a fine fellow. I bet it's drugs, too. Alright, um, is there a general store here? Um, no. There's only gambling. God, I need that house. Poppycock! Another vacant property there as well. There's a lot of properties to buy in Mexico. Dang. Um, let's do that mission again and see if we can make some money. No general store, only a lieutenant store. Hasn't been promoted yet. <laughs> Are you gonna come back between 7 a.m. and 10 p.m.? Alright, so we need to get out of here. I need to make some money. Um, so let's go this way. We'll go save and do the next key mission.
Nope, I'm only gonna do bounties. Not doing it. I need to go save. Sell a few things at the general store. There is poker. But if I poker, doesn't that mean I have to pay? <laughs> we'll sell as much as we can at the general store. I spit some snake oil on the one mission. It means we'll have to buy some more. We got plenty of chewing tobacco. Also, we need to frequently go back to home so we can keep getting more and more ammo. Yeah. 7am and 10pm. Yeah. We need 200 bucks to buy that property. Does this game have nudes? I don't actually know. It might. Wouldn't surprise me if it does. We've only done actually one game that had nudes before, which was God of War. Oh yeah, God of War is, of course, great. I love God of War. And correct, Witcher 3 does. Did the new, no, the new God of War did not. I'm assuming they didn't, that, that's the one tradition they broke, was typically all the God of Wars had a minigame. Um, this time it didn't, and I'm assuming because, boy. Go to the general store. Let's sell some things. Okay. I'm going to sell everything. A wolf heart, wow. Well, there's all my money. Wow. Is there a Norse god that's like really like fertile? Because there was um, a Nephrodite in Greek, but was there a Norse? I like to know that god. I don't know the name. I never, never knew of like a fertile god. I'm assuming every culture had a fertile god. That's all I got for you right now. Is it Freya related to fer fertility? Maybe I don't know. I I don't know much about Norse, honestly. Well, she had her boy. Um, spoiler: we had to fight. Mistletoe and all that jazz. Yeah, same, Jamie. Stop. I don't want to help you. Why'd you run over here? No. How do I get up the freaking mount? Okay. Oh, indeed he was. 
How many illegitimate children did he have? Many. <laughs> Messy chest. How do you get up the mountain? You fly. As you do. Watch your step, partner. The demon drink. Bigger Scarface. Jovencito sin vergüenza. Qué diablos este cabrón. That's that's the man who helped us defeat Reyes. The man I spoke to you of. A friend of Mexico. Hello, sir. Hola, gringo. So you are the bounty hunter, huh? Have you found your prey yet? No, sir. Ah, perhaps you come to hunt me, huh? Your country loves to make trouble in mine. Perhaps, but it isn't so. Ah, uh, perhaps I should tie you to a horse and let it drag you around town. Or let the dogs fight you, huh? <laughs> then see what you say. I'd say the same thing. I'm here to bring two men to justice. Nothing more. Your politics or ideas of entertainment are not my concern. Yeah, I suppose not. But it's on two years. Sinceramente, espero que me encontraste alguna compañía más interesante que ese bruja que me traíste anoche. Let me ask you this, sir. Do you know anything of the men I'm looking for? Escuela is from this province. His uh, father was a borracho, a drunk who worked as a laborer on land cultivated by my uncle. Men like that are natural allies for Reyes. My people have lived and worked here for a hundred years. We brought civilization. And these people, these fucking monkeys, despise us. We brought them God. And they turned their back on him. Now I fight to help them from themselves, to save them from themselves. I see Dictator. They would kill me if they could. <laughs> is she only a tyrant? That is the way it is. These people need a ruler. Well. Sorry to hear that. Sorry? Why be sorry? It is a way of mankind. A fight between two forces. Que sera, sera. What will be, will be. But I know one thing, Senor Marston. Force. <laughs> Force. Must be used. If you are to have your own way. I'm sure. Now, perhaps you can uh, do me a favor while I find these men for you. After we find the men. Then I'll help in any way I can. Ah, that, 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 that. You are in no position to negotiate. Now, por favor. A bunch of these idiots men are fighting at Tesoro Azul. Now, you head there and you lend your support. Baboso, ¿cuántas veces voy a decirte? No ponga detrás de mí. ¿Qué eres, cabrón? No está mi sombra. Vaya. Follow me. We must hurry. All right, let's do it. Come on. So what's with you and the bartender? I would love to see his reaction if I could say that. So I finally met your great leader. He certainly lives up to his reputation. What would you know about leadership? Only that most can't handle power. It is easy to criticize power when you have never had it yourself. Maybe it is because you have never been in the presence of a strong man before. I have seen the pictures of your country in the newspapers. Men grinning and decorating themselves like women. Vanity is the legacy the British left behind. Look, I don't know the fella. Just saying. That's how he treats his own men. Coronel Allende controls any situation he's in because he knows that situation can never be allowed to control him. It is what a leader must do. And in case you had not noticed, we're fighting a war. We're all under a lot of pressure. Pressure to find young girls? The Coronel needs recreation like everyone else. He does not have time to court women. He's waging a war on ignorance. 
and his impatience for victory. He's trying to inspire wisdom in those more stupid than himself. We must hurry. You Americans think you can ride? Do you? Come on, I will race you there. All right. Can you go any faster? Come on. It's a race. Absolute power absolutely corrupts. That's all I gotta say. Interference? Interference? Man tried to cut me off. One man army. How much longer am I going to stream for? Um, at least three more hours, roughly. Yep. I got to get the game beat. I got limited time. I heard the little horse crying in that house over there. Uh, I remember. Nobody takes them before Allende. We did all this just to get women for Allende? <laughs> no, that's just a bonus. This village is riddled with rebels. Make sure they don't have homes to come back to. There are fire bottles over there. Use them to burn down some of these houses. And what makes you think I'd do that? You want to find Javier Escuela, don't you? John, you're helping Mexico. Vámonos, muchachos! Buen trabajo! I hate helping this guy. It's a bad taste in my mouth. Let me loot their bodies! Exactly questionable thing. It's exactly what we're all here for. Okay, I need ammo. I'm working on it. Okay. the bodies. Nice questionable thing. I'm glad you could come here to cheer up. Again, that's exactly why we're here. It's good to have you. Sit back, melt away your woes. Enjoy the mayhem. That is Red Dead Redemption.
Sample the girls. Horrible. Monsters. Alright, we got the money. Let's go back to, um, what's his name? Oh, dead bodies. Hello. I need loot. I bet, I bet you're right, Jamie Cakes. Sounds like something they would do. Of course, I might know the answer, but I'm not going to give the answer. I would never do that. Also, if we see any animals or things to pick, we need to do that. Yeah, I would never. Like I said, some of the stuff I remember and some of the stuff I don't. So, like, it's kind of re, re-experiencing. Because eight years is a long time. Eight years ago, life was completely different. God. People, it doesn't sound like a lot, but, like, if you go back eight years and you think about what you knew, and then, like, how things unfold, like, it just, it'll blow you away. I look back now and look at eight years and like it feels like a lifetime ago. Let's go. Come on, easy up now. You've only had uh you've only had a your PS3 for for six years? Wow. Alright, let's go buy this house. And let's do that mission. Do that mission. My house, baby. I think at the end of this, he should just like, he, we own so many properties, it's like 20 years later, he becomes like a, a real estate mogul, and sells everything. It makes millions and millions of dollars. After inflation, of course. I'm playing Monopoly. I get all the Monopoly money, too. Beautiful. Ricketts rides again. Landon Ricketts rides again. Gracias, amigos. Mr. Marston, how the devil are you? I'm fine. How are you, Mr. Ricketts? I'm good. I'm glad you're here because these men were just telling me about Mr. Escuela. Javier Escuela? Emilio, let me ask you something. His nombre is Javier Senor Escuela? Is Javier to see? No sé, senor. <sighs> he doesn't know. I got that bit. Ask him, was he about five foot eight? Mustache? Did he have an American in tow? A big American? Emilio, the Stabacone, uh, grind the Americano? Yo no sé. No. Ag again, I got that. <laughs> but they do have his sister. Emilio's, I mean. She's a fine young woman, teacher, a human being, not the clothed vermin so many people seem to have turned into. Tell him I'm sorry. When a man's family is involved, you need a little more enthusiasm than mere apologies. I have enough worries, sir. This man's problems pain me, but they're not quite my own. Those who sit on the fence make a choice in their own way. Don't you think, Mr. Marston? Of course. And what about you, Ricketts? A man living in the past? A man who ran away from home? What choice did you make? I'll tell you what choice I made. I'm a fighter, sir, and I'll fight to the end. I think we should get going. Let's 
do it. Let's ride again. Let's go save his wife. You can take the train with me or ride yourself. Makes no odds to me. I'll take the train with you. Ride him, cowboy! <laughs> <laughs> 